What is up guys? This is Jay with Prepared Citizens. Thank you for joining me and welcome to the internet. Um, so today we're going to talk about a new tourniquet that Prepared Citizens Training Group is going to be carrying on the website. It is the Everyday Carry Tourniquet, the ETQ, and uh, specifically I'm going to be carrying the Wides. So I jumped into it pretty deep based on some findings that come from guys in the industry that I trust a lot. Um, Homestead Medical, if you haven't heard of him, go check him out. Chuck's an awesome dude. He knows his stuff. He's been around this kind of stuff for a long time. Just want to remind you guys, you know, I don't consider myself the expert. I train with experts and, um, and then I just bring this knowledge to you guys. So, uh, and that's kind of how this came about. Uh, we're going to open this one together, and I'm just going to do the normal good old standard, throw it on my arm, and just see what we get, okay? Um, I'm really excited to uh, try these. I'm going to be testing them also and uh, carrying them every day. Probably should have gotten me a knife or something. It's a good, good packaging. There we go. But... Um, yeah, these are super lightweight. They're windless, windless tourniquet. So like a cat style, if you will. Um, you know, with a windless. But uh, man, super, okay, actually I got a cat right here. This is uh, one in my training class that I use in here is the new one. Like, my shirt's black, so there you go. A little better example. Um, this, is not something you're going to carry in your pocket every day. Uh, these are excellent tourniquets. These are great to put on kits. Um, I designed a set mount if you want. And I got another mount coming. Uh, you guys will hear about that later. Um, this is not something you're going to carry every day. This is a great tourniquet to keep on your tactical kit. I do keep a couple in the vehicle, um, but the, the original cat style tourniquets um, they're, they're just really big. So something like this, really exciting. You can put this easily in your pocket. No big deal. Um, the Velcro, though, I can see needing like a, a little sleeve or some kind of cover for that. Uh, other than that, that's pretty sleek. All right. So I got this little handy-dandy, uh, whatever you call these things, pulse ox meter. Perfect. There you go. Science, right? Okay, so we're alive. This shows we're alive. We're good. That uh, blood is flowing down this left arm, obviously. So um, let's put this tourniquet on and let's see what we get. All right. So it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. This is my first time doing this with this one. So you guys are watching me for the first time. Throw this baby in. Get it up high. Okay. Make sure it's on really good. I think that's pretty good. All right. Now let's crank it on down. Whew. Let's see if. That'll work. Okay, well that went pretty good. Man, y'all hear that fam up there? Woo, it feels tight. Let's see. Are we gonna get anything? Or is there nothing? It don't look like we're gonna get anything. Okay. I think we're good, guys. Yep, nothing. Woo, okay. So, training is done with this tourniquet. I'm gonna remove this baby. Um, guys, wow, it worked really good. So it works, obviously, 
we're going to do a lot more testing than that. But just as an initial, you know, an initial test to show you guys. I'm going to try a couple different ways to prep that later. But, so guys, that thing is pretty slick. It's extremely lightweight. Um, that's probably going to be the new, the new go-to for us as long as it continues to pass all tests we're going to put it through, water tests, stress test. Um, you know, we're going to try it on all extremities, legs, arms, with, without gear, all the good stuff, right? So, um, guys, pick one up. Highly suggest grabbing one of these for your EDC or to carry on you every day. And, um, yeah, so, you know, before we get out, I'm going to go over just a few... I guess different features it's I thought was pretty cool on this um, and if you've looked these up you probably know this already one it's kind of unique it's got a little glow stick here that will break and glow it's not broke yet but um that is I guess for guys that may need to see this at nighttime or like uh, your higher medical that gets there your paramedics and things um, so they can see it at night if you're having to work on multiple people that's pretty neat. Never seen that before. Um, is it required? Probably not really, but it is pretty cool. I get it. Definitely get it. I really like the uh, clamp style with the um, windlass. So when you get that in there, I could see well, no, not really. That was really easy, actually. I, I was going to say I could see where it might would be difficult, but I don't know. I I don't see that. It's It really wasn't that hard. Like, I wasn't, um, and if I can do it that easy, you know, just sitting here doing it on video, um, under stress, you're going to have adrenaline going. You're going to be putting a lot more strength into it than, like, I am just right now. And, um, yeah, I would honestly think that would be even easier to jam in there once you got some adrenaline going because you're going to have a lot more strength in that situation. So that's really cool. I do like how that works. Um, even though I've never seen like just the tape on the old cats fail, I like where they're going with that. That's, that's thinking outside the box. I like that. Um, man, this strap is tough. It's super thin, super lightweight. Here's what's really cool, guys. I, I do want to mention this. All right. Before you open the tourniquet, you have, hopefully it's focused enough, you got a QR code right here. This QR code takes you directly to their video on how to use this. And, uh, like, you could watch it on your phone. Uh, hopefully you watch it before you need it. But I'm just saying... Um, if you handed this to someone that didn't know anything about it, that's there. And then maybe you say, well, what about if it's already opened? Well, check this out. On the end of the strap, literally, instructions, QR code again. That is flipping awesome. If I threw this to someone and said, put that on, they can either A, literally read the instructions, they could watch a video as they're doing it that's pretty cool guys i think that's super neat and for those of you that's never taken in-person training classes um which you got to do i highly recommend it but hey if you don't you at least need to see it done so you kind of know what to expect right um that's the next best next best thing so at least watch a video. I did a great, or I thought it was a great video, Three Ways to Stop the Bleed. Please go check that out. Um, I went into detail about uh, pressure, packing, and tourniquets. So, And um, that still don't take the place of a in-person class, but it gets you in the right direction. And uh, I think that's all I want to touch on. This is still really new, guys. There's going to be more content coming on these, very much so in the future. So just stay tuned for that. Um, initially, out of the box, me testing it, it did awesome. 
right out of the box. I mean, you guys watch me open it. This is not something that I staged and, you know, to make sure it would work. I literally just picked a random one. So, guys, I think this is going to be a good deal. This is probably something you're going to see a lot more of for um, from prepared citizens. Uh, man, when it comes to, like, just having a good toolbox of things on you, you know, I've been testing a lot of stuff. Um, so far, everything I've heard from experts in the field and just what little bit I'm seeing and now done with it and felt and man, I just think this is going to be a good deal. Between this, a Slishman pressure wrap for like kids, you can improvise that. Uh, or it's not really improvising, but do a pressure bandage with it. And uh, just a pack of uh, pack of gauze, like a compressed gauze. I think having these three things, like you're pretty set up for some, any kind of bleeding scenario. But it's just my take on it. Guys, we're going to do a lot more on it. Please stay tuned. Um, if you got any questions, please put them in the comments or send me a message or go to the website, uh, send me an email, whatever you need to do. Guys, get some questions out to us. I love hearing you guys' questions um, because I can guarantee you, if you have the question, 20, 30, 40, 50, a bunch of other people do too. It's not just you. So ask. Um, and guys, I guess I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Go pick you up. They're going to be on the website by the time you see this. Go pick you up. An ETQ tourniquet by... Uh, snake staff systems these things are flipping awesome they're made in the usa they're made to the t triple c standards that the military sets out so uh i i think these guys are doing some good stuff this is really cool and uh stay tuned for more guys i'll see you on the next one god bless